Hi guys. Great idea. Telling you about. Yeah, dogs. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you about this uh, Virago. Even though it's not going, should be fun. Great safety features. Oh, I can smell it. I've got to go wash my hands. Okay, try that again without running. Here we are with the Toyota Virago, fellas. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do we want to check out a not going Toyota High Ace for race? Well, let me tell you. Welcome guys, we're going over the safety features of the Toyota. We explore classic vehicles from the past. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane to drive into the world of the 1997 Toyota Tiago 7-seater van. It's in the late 1990s, the family vans were all the rage. The Toyota Tiago, also known as Previa in some regions, was one of those iconic people movers of its time. But how does it stack up when it comes to safety features? Especially when considering the standards of the 1990s. First things first, the 1997 Tirago is a seven seater marvel. It's spacious, versatile, and perfect for larger families or those who just like to have an extra room for passengers and cargo. Now let's talk what we're all here for. Safety. The 1990s were a different era when it comes to automotive safety. While the Tarago might not boast the advanced safety tech we've got today, it does come with some notable features. Seatbelts for every passenger. Dual front airbag. There's ABS braking system, but I don't think I got mine. These features were considered relatively advanced back in the day and we're aimed at improving passenger safety. In this video series, we'll drive into the Tarago's design, performance and other aspects, including giving you a comprehensive view what it was like to own and drive the van in the 90s. Tarago 97 model. She's a bit worn out. She's been crashed a few times. So let's go over what happened. Sorry, it's only a Toyota for the first video, but YouTube doesn't give you so we're here by ourselves with a phone and with what I've got. Let's go over it. Now just sitting in the car, you wouldn't think that it has many safety features, but it has headlights. There's no power. We have no power. Two seconds. Should I go get a battery or we'll be right? The mirrors are huge. You can see way back there, but so you don't have to put your hand out the window that won't open at the moment because we've got no power. They do have this window thing down here so you don't get your hand ripped off from traffic and you can move your own mirror. It's pretty handy. It has this awesome bar underneath the bumper bar so it doesn't crumble itself when it hits something. It did very well, saving me when a kangaroo hit us. Look, right there. But how low the bar comes down the front. I would not like to get run over. I don't even think my arm would fit under it. We got the Continentals from Tazzy Tires six months ago. They're holding up well, lots of treat in there. And they've been keeping it on the road until it went flat and stopped going, overheated. So it's stuck in. The suspension, state of the art. Break this. All nice and rusty. Brake pads. Uh, three quarters, nearly full. Just paper mache, real safe. Stop you in a dime. For safety, we get two indicators at the front. One there and one there. Make sure they both work. You get a safety feature at the back of the car. So when people walk past and bang their knee, your car gets paper. Great safety 101. Don't have anything down as your pedal brake because you won't be able to brake. So Toyota was really smart. They put buttons up here for the kids to play with to stop them kids from distracting you, the driver. They also put cup holders and food spaces for them to leave their rubbish. And a lighter. What kids? In the back, see, 
Can I smell? They also give you airbags to stop you from banging your face on the dash. Very soft dash, but you need safety. The driver gets one too. Yay! Keep the driver safe. Everybody knows the importance of speeding. We shouldn't speed on the roads. So a good road safety feature would be they put the speedo right out in front. All you've got to do is be just up here and then pshoo, pshoo, and then pshoo, and then pshoo. You know, they give you a big boot. And then they give you these two extra seats. So you can put them up, put them down for safety for your backpack passengers. And you get to carry seven people. It's a marvelous idea. Latches down there to hold it in place. Big yellow button. And Willow's enjoying the car. She's checking out all the safety features. She's having a blast today. So let's clean it up. Let's get it moving. And we'll get it out of here. Front seat belts for everybody, nice and safe. Same and standard, hopefully, somewhere down here. Maybe that's why we can't buy those Chinese, because they don't fit them in Australian. So now, before we go, here's a bit of Tarago trivia for you. Do you know that this van had a feature that could turn it into party on wheels? It's true, back in the day. I read it off with an optional party mode to the Tarago. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm Luke with the Bright Cars. And remember, if you want me to review your car, give us a shout out, leave your comments below if you're in Tasmania, and hopefully we can team up.